For me, February is International Solidarity Month. In two weeks' time, eight of us MEPs will visit the Basque Country to discuss the transfer of prisoners near to their families and a peace process. However, before going there, next week, February the 8th, as Chair of the Palestinian Delegation, I am leading an MEP delegation to Palestine on a fact-finding mission and once again we will be trying desperately to get access to Gaza. I was in Palestine last year on the day of the Israeli elections. That day Benjamin Netanyahu exposed a 20-year-old pretense that he was a genuine partner for peace when he stated that there would never be a Palestinian state. Now despite the 1995 Oslo Accord detailing agreed mechanisms for extensive Israeli withdrawal from the occupied Palestinian territory. Here we are in 2016 and more than a half a million, a half of a million of Israeli settlers live in 237 settlements in the Israeli occupied Palestinian territories. Successive Israeli governments have facilitated this process even though settlements are unlawful under international humanitarian law. Yet they are now part and parcel of Israeli policies of racism and discrimination which violates human rights. The settlements constitute war crimes, yet they are supported by a multitude of businesses which contribute to and benefit from the unlawful confiscation of Palestinian land. Businesses are given licenses to extract natural resources from Palestinian land that should be used for the benefit of the Palestinian population. According to the Israeli Finance Minister, Israel exports more than $600 million of industrial goods and manufactured in the Israeli settlements. The situation in Palestine, Israel, is a consequence of Israel's armed aggression dating back to 1967, which the UN Security Council has failed to challenge. For years, the UN and the wider international community have watched the blockade of Gaza and the consequent collective punishment of its people. They have watched the apartheid separation wall being built and have saw apartheid buses operating on apartheid roads. There is no doubt that the law of return operating in Israel is racist and it's wrong. It affords Jews from anywhere in the world who have never lived in Palestine or Israel entitlements to reside in Israel, entitlements that are not afforded to the six million Arabs who have actually lived in Palestine yet are prohibited from returning. The international community must stop treating Israel as a state above the law. The EU has implemented its rules governing the proper labelling of goods made in settlements. It must now go further and suspend the association agreement with Israel until Israel stops violating Article 2 of that agreement, which clearly outlines Israel's obligations to respect human rights. The situation in Palestine and in Israel will only improve when the occupation is ended, when the blockade of Gaza is ended and when genuine Israeli partners for, for peace emerge. You know, the burden of responsibility to achieve all of that rests on the shoulders of the international community, which must demonstrate its determination its dedication and its resolve to bring peace and reconciliation to the people battered by oppression and exhausted by conflict. Sinn Féin has such determination and dedication in abundance. 
so as chair of the Palestinian delegation, I will press forward to help the Palestinian people in whatever small way that I can. And I will report back to you from my when I return from Palestine next month. Thank you.